Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is a review of the Glenfiddich Experimental Series number five. This is a spirit which has been um, finished in the Pomona um, apple liqueur spirit casks. Uh, so as mentioned there, it's um, uh, apple liqueur, the Pomona spirit is an apple liqueur uh, produced well, possibly for this particular bottling produced by the Somerset Distillery Company. That is a blend of apples and apple brandy um, finished in casks for two years, bottled at 20% ABV. This particular Glenfiddich um, is bottled at 43% ABV, which is slightly higher than their normal bottlings. I picked this up um, from Sainsbury's recently. Um, I had a little bit of birthday money and uh, I was doing a shop and I spotted this. Normally £40 in Sainsbury's was used to £32. That kind of sits midway between the Glenfiddich 12 year old and the Glenfiddich 15 year old reviews, which you can catch up up there. 43% um, ABV. We're guessing it is going to be colour adjusted and we're guessing that it is also going to be chill filtered, which is pretty standard for the Glenfiddich um, offerings. It comes in this. Um, Really quite simple label. There's been a little bit of discussion online I've read about the particular tube. People say that they don't like it, they don't think it's particularly classy. To be honest, a lot of people just bin the tubes. If you're not going to keep it, they're going to bin it. It doesn't really matter um, what it looks like unless you're going to be a collector. And to be honest, this isn't really a whiskey that you're going to collect. Part of the experimental series um, of which they've released IPA cask finishes and they did um, what was an ice wine one, I think they did, and various other ones. I've not bought, in fact, this is the first bottle, full bottle of Glenfiddich I have bought. Uh, I have bought the uh, miniatures, which I've done reviews of, which I mentioned, you can catch up on above. It doesn't really say an awful lot more than it's going to have a hit of Somerset Apple, um, coming from that Somerset uh, Pomona Spirit casks that they're using. What do they say about the um, experiment series? Well, they're just pushing the boundaries um, of whiskey creation. Uh, and this is a first, apparently, they're the first to produce a um, whiskey finished in apple spirit casks. For all effect, it's just a diluted brandy uh, cider and brandy together in a, in a cask left to mature for a couple of years. So what are we getting? Well, it immediately is that um, Glenfiddich DNA of apples and pears. Obviously, we're going to be getting apples on this, but it is fruity, quite lively. ABV isn't suggesting anything above 40%, but this is a 43. It's, it is a Glenfiddich. It's, I think if I was to be given this uh, blind, um, I would probably jump at a space side of which Glenfiddich sits. And my mind would probably go straight to their 12 year old. It does seem relatively oily. There are decent legs clinging to the glass. You won't be able to pick any of them out, I don't think. Uh, but there are legs clinging to the glass, so it is relatively oily. There's a bit of spice in there. Not bad. Let's have a taste. So this is a freshly opened bottle. So these are my initial thoughts. This will change over time. It's it's refreshing. It's tasty. It's not it's not particularly complex. There's not a lot of depth of flavours there. You're getting a very tasty um, apple inspired, apple influenced whiskey. It doesn't really in the initial taste and my initial review taste particularly whiskey like. It is more like an, um, an aperitif, an after dinner drink, um, something to cleanse the palate. It's refreshing, it's different. If you like cider, I'm not a particularly big cider fan, um, but if you like cider, if you like your apples, this is gonna be really pleasant for you. The ABV, I would say it is sitting around 40%. It certainly doesn't suggest 43. There is a little bit of burn there. Um, it's not particularly coming across 
is too youthful. That finishing period in those Pomona casks have done a good job at rounding out any youthfulness that might have been there. In terms of how it compares to other whiskies, yes, you can tell this is a Glenfiddich. It has that DNA in there. I would suggest that this is probably competing maybe with something like the um, Compass Box Orchard House. Now, whilst that's not finished in apple casks, um, it is a Orchard Apples Pears inspired whiskey, which is what Glenfiddich seems to offer. I've not tried the Compass Box. That sits at 46% ABV. The price for that sits at just over £40. But level of this is £40. So that's probably its nearest competition. Um, the Compass Box. Recently on offer on Amazon for I think it was £34. So a couple of pounds more expensive than Sainsbury's have this at the moment. Would I recommend this? My initial thoughts are this is a tasty, very easy drinking whiskey. Very easy drinking. Sweet, syrupy, apples, touch of spice, a little bit of bitterness on the finish. Finish doesn't last at all, it, it disappears straight away. But it's, it's, you, 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 I, would, I would imagine if I gave my wife a glass of this, maybe with a touch of lemonade, she would drink it. She's not a whiskey drinker, but I think she would probably drink this. That's how really easy drinking this is. When you compare it to such um, endeavours as the Glenlivet Caribbean cask, which I kind of didn't really get on with, uh, this is a much nicer proposition. I think the price is probably pitched a bit too high. I don't think £40 is a fair price for this, giving you can get the 15-year-old Glenfiddich um, for about that price. And the 12-year-olds often on offer at 25 So I think this is priced too highly. I think if this if this came down below thirty two that Sainsbury's are offering at the moment, maybe the twenty five pound, I would buy another bottle of this to keep for later because it is a very enjoyable one. Would I be picking this up often to drink? You know what? It's different enough that it's not a case of sitting down and saying I want another whiskey or a fancier whiskey. It might be a case of I'm, I'm, I'm I've had a beer and I fancy something different, but I don't want to grab a whiskey straight away. I think this would, on my initial thoughts, sit in as a very nice alternative. I think that's what we pitch this as, as an alternative, even though it is a whiskey. A single malt scotch whiskey. And yeah, Master Blender Brian Kinsman. Yeah, this is a win. I like this. It's enjoyable. It's tasty. Priced too highly, but certainly one to look out for if you happen to be in Sainsbury's or if other retailers are going to carry it shortly. You can't go wrong, and it's not a classical whiskey though, so just bear that in mind. There it is.